Praise John. I'm here to talk about a recent wind spinner that I made out of trash. This was an old peanut butter bottle plastic from the supermarket. And uh, so I cut it up into uh, different pieces. And then I folded back the pieces. So, let's see. I folded this back like that. See? And that's a pretty strong fold. I think it will keep up in the wind as most of them do. I blew to the side, but uh, it still works. So that's I cut those out, and it takes three cuts: one cut, one long cut, and two two shorter cuts to make the blade. I'm not going to clean off the peanut butter. It's a waste of time because the environment will do that. It will clean everything out, and the peanut butter will be like. Uh, fertilizer fertilizer and then so usually I just um, poke a hole there at the top and then put uh, a knot to hold it but this time the hole that I cut previously was too big for just a little knot so I put a I tied the string to a peak to a washer see and then pull that up and it should spin. I haven't spun this outside yet. This is experimental. I haven't done this outside so you know it's at late at night I just put this just finished this and uh, we'll see it spins in my room pretty well. So and then for the final knot I do kind of a uh, lasso knot this is what I usually do to hang it on the trees and then I put the string through this knot through the last noose knot and I pull it out to make kind of a noosey thing and then it will pull tight like that and it's easier to take off than just tying it as a knot so that's the ins and outs and then this bottom the bottom here what used to be the top is good like that and with the bottom on or off it has different benefits so th with the bottom on the air will circulate more it will swell and pull in and get pushed out more um, I'll have to take some observations, which would be a good thing to observe. Okay, good night. Praise John.